The very first annual World Esports Day will be held on October the 24th, a Saturday. It's essentially a global celebration of esports, focusing primarily on increasing awareness of the positive of esports, from teamwork, improving reaction times, cognitive benefits, and having fun, and the social aspects, such as playing together and making friends. Esports has benefited me with meaningful friendships and a purpose beyond just winning games. I think one thing that I've learned the most is communication skills, because uh, I believe that communications is the foremost, most important aspect in esports. I've been playing games since I was like four years old. And it's good that I'm actually able to combine passion and work into one, which uh, I feel rarely nowadays people can do that. Uh, I would say esports has been an integral part of my life. It has given me a platform to showcase my talents. And also I would say that it has given me a lot of uh, valuable lessons, uh, such as uh, how to overcome adversities and how to come back from failures because I faced quite a number of failures in my uh, esports endeavors. So I've met many friends through esports and I felt like some of them became my teammates. So I feel that it has been a benefit because we all come from diverse backgrounds and this has helped me to widen my perspective on life and helped me to grow as a person. The global campaign aims to unite the esports community and celebrate all things competitive gaming, from tournaments to streams, games and players themselves, and everything in between. Gamers, teams, associations, companies, and anyone interested in esports can get involved with the World Esports Day 2020. They can create their own positive initiative as part of it, whether it's a stream or an announcement or a one-off activity. I think you know I would definitely like to spend World Esports Day, you know, doing something that I you know has, that I really enjoy, which is really to catch up on some of the games uh, that I have yet to play. You know, uh, a few a few of these games come to mind, you know, like old remastered games like Command and Conquer. Uh, what we'll be doing for World Esports Day 2020, um, we actually have lined up a uh, upcoming uh, community Valorant tournament. Uh, so we hope that uh, the community can uh, join us uh, together online, and of course have fun. I think I'll be doing the same thing as all other gamers around the world. I'll continue playing and also I'll try my best to spread the awareness of the World Esports Day by uh, posting on my social media pages with the hashtag uh, World Esports Day. Personally, for my friends and I, we will be streaming our favorite game, Call of Duty Mobile, and we'll be posting photos of us and while tagging hashtag World Esports Day and tagging World Esports Day on Instagram. World Esports Day 2030 is held on the 24th of October. So, Actually, on that day itself, I'll be playing uh, the first offline local Valorant tournament. It's hosted by the Gym Esports, so yeah, that's what I'll be doing. As the local esports scene develops, Singapore gamers should not forget that esports exist in a world without borders. Gamers need to come together as one digital race. World Esports Day will help us bond and unite together online, not just showing the world what the esports scene in Singapore has, but also learning from one another and growing together. I think uh, very much friendship and growth. These areas I experienced because uh, from my past teammates to current business partners and best friends, uh, it makes me very grateful and elated that something can grow so much from such a casual experience from just gaming. Definitely, uh, you know, through bonding everything, you know, uh, knowing new people online uh, is, is something that, you know, without uh, internet, you'll never be able to do so like, you know, to maybe 20, 25 years ago. Yeah. So uh, having that, uh, you know, to be living in this uh, era where we're able to connect, uh, we actually, you know, got to know a lot more things uh, like how uh, the culture works in other countries and how they share. Uh, actually a simple like-minded goal uh, for esports, which is really just to have fun as well as you know to hit the highest uh, level of gameplay. During competitive uh, or even playing games online, I make friends with some Malaysians also. Uh. So um, whenever we go over to Malaysia for the MPR, right, the MYSG region, uh, my friend from Malaysia would actually host me, bring me around, and recommend me places to go that are cheap and nice food. Yeah, so it actually makes me feel very, very warming to the heart. It's like, we are not just friends online. Yeah, we can be friends even off screen also. Personally for me, I would like to be a role model for other gamers. 
I want them to think that their dreams are not impossible to chase. A lot of people with a passion of gaming, they tell me it's impossible to be a professional gamer. But for me, on the other hand, I decided to take a leap of faith and chase my dream to be a professional gamer. Being in a supporting role, for example, a coach, a manager, or a community builder, can be as fun, meaningful, and important as the players. We owe it to um, you know, the general public you know, to help them better understand uh, what esports is really about. Um, there are, I think there are a lot of misconceptions out there. Uh, rightly so, maybe because you know, it's something that's very new. The industry is really nascent in Singapore. Uh, it, it's good you know, if we can engage in some of these conversations positively to help, you know, you know, maybe help your parents or grandparents understand you know, what this activity is really about and you know, the kind of bonding experience that you, know, you could potentially you know, stand to gain if you actually play together. So join us and celebrate World Esports Day with us.